Hi, I'm John McCann from Survival Resources. We have a new product. I thought I'd do a short video review of it today with a little bit of explanation. In my book, some of you are aware of my book, Stay Alive, Survival Skills You Need. I've done a small tip section in the fire chapter of this book showing how to use a pencil sharpener to make tinder out in the field. I've been doing this for years. I've been carrying a pencil sharpener in my fire kit, in my survival kit for many years. And I was pretty surprised at how many people had commented that they had never heard that and thanked me for the tip. And they found it very valuable. So what we've added to our site is a few pencil sharpeners. Now we haven't done this immediately because I was looking for something that would be well used in the field, be substantial. As you know, a lot of the pencil sharpeners out there are made of plastic, plastic things break. A lot of them are very cheaply made, uh, made overseas. What I was looking for was something metal, and I found them in Germany. And what we've added is two, one is a single. This is a very small, this would be able to fit into any small survival kit, any small fire kit. It's made from aluminum. It has a carbon steel blade on it and it has one hole. The other one is a two hole, we call it. This is made of brass, again, made in Germany, carbon steel blade, has a small hole and a larger hole. Although only slightly bigger than the other sharpener, it gives you advantage of being able to use larger sticks to make tinder with. Now I keep talking about this making tinder with sticks. How do we do that? Well, let's take a close-up and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, now this is a smaller sharpener. As you can see, this is the aluminum one. People ask, why would you want to use this to make tinder? Well, one of the things you have to remember is oftentimes when you're out in the woods, you can find sticks, but if it's wet out, the sticks are going to be wet and it's hard to get tinder off a wet stick. So what you would do is like here is you would scrape off all of the bark that's wet because the inside of this stick is dry. So you would then take the stick, put it in the sharpener and start making yourself some quick and easy tinder. As you can see, this works very quickly and in a very short amount of time, you're gonna have all this dry wood from the inside of this stick. Obviously, again, in a wet condition, you would scrape the wet outside off the stick. And you can see in very short time, you'd have a lot of tinder here. What I like about this one is it has the two holes. You can take larger sticks, put them in here, and now you can start cranking real quick. And you see how quick and easy this works. Now, if you have a lot of dry tinder around, well, obviously, you're not going to take the time to do this. But if you don't, and it is wet, this is a real handy way to make yourself some quick, dry tinder real quickly. You can see it wouldn't take you long to be able to do this. And you can crank this very quickly. You run out of a larger stick. You take your smaller stick and put it in the other one. And you start working at it. Alrighty then, this explains why it's really handy to have a small pencil sharpener in your kit. Another advantage, keep in mind, is that you can always use this as a pencil sharpener. If you've happened to buy the solid graphite pencil from us, you can actually use this to sharpen the pencil. There you have it. As always, I thank you for joining us. Be sure to check out our other products at survivalresources.com. I thank you for your continued support, and I'll see you next time.